Good morning, everybody. Matt Lorenzo with BMC Communities uh, to talk about uh, community management concepts and uh, best practices that we have learned, that we have you know been burnt with, you know issues we had, and how we overcame it. So with me today, there will be at least Laurent Matteo. Laurent, can you please introduce yourself? Here you go. Laurent? Can't you hear me anymore? Laurent, can you hear me? Or are the logistic fully down? Because we were talking two minutes ago. Oh, sorry. Uh, Google Chrome crashed. Oh, it happens. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, uh, are you, you're on macOS, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, on Mac OS, yeah. Okay, so I was just you know introducing and uh, making sure you could introduce yourself and what you do, and and actually the the communities you you work on, you work with, and what you do for them. Mm, so my name is Laurent Matteo. I'm working for Capgemini as an uh, ITSM consultant, and uh, I guess on more social way, I'm uh, managing. I don't know a couple of forums. French forum mainly about uh, technology and geek stuff and stuff. And uh, of course, I'm um, active on the BMC community. Well, so we're here to talk about tips and tricks and uh, stuff like that. So, j just to share some background, because you obviously are interacting on, on many. Uh, uh, Kind of platforms and technology for many years with different roles. Uh, can you please give a couple of examples of things you've done, like yes. using or administering, managing things? Well, it was like uh, I don't know seven seven years ago when uh, Palm OS was still alive. <clears throat> I was uh, the forum admin for a couple of years for I guess the one of the two most important French forum on it. It was Palm Spirit, uh -huh. uh, which was for pa all, everything on Palm OS and else. So I was uh, managing the forum. So all of all of the animation, all of the all of the technical side to help um, I don't know to help user to find more interesting uh, threads or tips and tricks, or to add some functionalities that other forums didn't have, for example, and all about the gamifications or like. Or to find a way to interest people and make them come back every month and stuff like that. Uh, then I switched to PlayStation uh, forums mainly, where I was uh, an ERC op for like one uh, one year. Something. You were what? An ERC op. I mean, uh, I was like uh, the admin for an ERC channel. Okay. It was a chat discussion uh, okay. on ERC, and I was uh, a moderator on the forum. It was uh, for PSP Gen, so it was uh -huh. for PSP at the time. <clears throat> and then I made my own forum, uh, which was talking about uh, geek stuff, uh, a bit like uh, TechCrunch and uh, stuff like that. So for about... The, the website is quite old, actually. It's uh, more like uh, 10 or 12 years or something. Uh, it was very active for about three years. And then, well, I took a job, and it was more difficult to to animate the stuff because it takes a lot of uh, a lot of work in the background to interest yeah. people. Energy, and, uh, yeah, yeah. So and good. Then and the communities. <laughs> you bet. You bet. You're uh, one of the most active on BMC communities. Uh, not only being on communities, but helping others. Uh, you know, making sure they find relevant content and, and resources. Laurent, Laurent, uh, you've talked about many, many sites that <coughs> you've been uh, using in these past years. Will, will you be able, uh, after this call is done, to share resources if they are still live, just to give examples, you know, to yeah, showcase sure. examples of what happened? Okay, so uh, let, let's, let's I, I guess, try and pick a topic that, you know, one specific topic that would make sense. Let me try and screen share. So uh, a, a listly was created, 
and a, a couple of people have curated it. Actually, Laurent, you have not curated it I, at all. No, I saw that uh, Jason and you posted a couple of things on it, but I didn't know to join actually. Oh, so uh, Listly is uh, like like a platform where you can use uh, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Twitter, or even your Facebook account, and then you can post uh, an item or vote on items or comment on, on items. Okay. So here we had feedback from Chris Grassi, who will not be able to join today, from Colum in UK, Lisa, Gabriel, actually, I should have made sure to invite them today. Let me try that. William is from Canada, doesn't work in this time zone. Chris Coffey from Florida, Aniba in India, and Jeff, I'm not sure who Jeff is yet. So, uh, while I, I will invite them uh, in the next minutes, but first let's talk about the most relevant topics. So here are order by vote. The, the topics that uh, are supposed to make more sense. So how to attract subject matter experts and first step for successful community. Uh, the other one with four votes here is executives. So Laurent, which, which topic in this, you know, top three, which topic would you prefer to talk about? <clears throat> uh, I guess, um... I guess the, the, the SME could be interesting. Okay, okay, so that's that. Yeah, it, it's a top one. So, uh, okay, so while you begin to uh, share, I guess, successes or failures uh, on un onboarding subject matter experts, I will try to reach out to the, the people who curated this list to see if they are available today. Okay? Okay. Sounds good? So yep. go ahead, please share successes and failures. Well, for example, when uh, at the time of Palm, uh, Palm OS, for example, when I was a forum admin on the Palm, uh, Palm Spirit website, <coughs> uh, <coughs> we were in competition with another site. I don't know if it's still live or not. And uh, basically, we had a lot of problem finding some uh, experts, you know, and uh, for example, to skin the Palm OS because at the time you can ch you could change the layout, but it demanded like uh, experts to do this, and there were like I guess free experts, French experts who could do that, and one of them was a developer and made uh, a software for it, and basically um, we didn't have any means. I mean to pay them or stuff like that. It's a completely different thing at this time, and uh, so. It's very difficult to find and to to attract SME people, experts. So what we try to do is actually to contact them and uh, to explain how the community was working. Because even if we were two websites, two main websites on Palm OS, <clears throat> we all we had both of us uh, different, I mean, um, ideas and behaviors toward the. Um, towards the end users and also towards the editors. Basically, we were more like uh, open source and uh, trying to hack into the system. I mean, hack into the, the right, uh, into the right term. I mean, hack like uh, enhance the product, not to crack. And the other website was more like, um, I don't know, out of the box, more closer to the editor. Yeah. So it was really a difference in behavior. And so we tried to, to attract them, telling them that, uh, well, it was more interesting for them to come and to come and us, to come to us because there were subjects that were forbidden, for example, in the other website. For example, working uh, when you are a developer, you have to, to, add a, to, add, to use a ROM, uh, you know, the internal firmware of the yeah, device yeah. to program. And uh, they didn't want to, so for example, Sony was very, uh, at the time, with the CLIA, Sony was very uh, not eager uh, people working on that if you were not an, an official developer. Yeah. So a lot of matters on this were forbidden on the other forum and were allowed on us. It was a lot more free, for example. So to, to summarize, the vendor forum was kind of uh, really controlled, whereas the other forum you talk about 
was you know, really for the mass of users who are excited yes. and interested. Good. Yes, if someone wanted to hack into the system or yeah. ask any questions they wanted, it, they were welcome. At, at yeah. least when it was not a troll or something, you know, a silly question or racism or whatever, it was free uh, on our side. So a lot of people liked that. I mean, there was no uh, censorship and uh, stuff like that. And um, that's, it was all about accessibility, easy of use, and the power we gave them. So basically, when, for example, an expert came, a skin expert, for example, yeah. and then a developer came, we gave him, we created a sub-forum for him, for him, a sub-community, and he was like the moderator and the administrator of this sub-forum. So he was like the master of his own community. And they really like this, be, uh, being like uh, the master, post what they, what they wanted. We didn't give them um, like rules or stuff to do. For example, you have to write like three posts in a month uh, to be active every day and stuff like that. We told them, okay, you have got your sub community. <clears throat> uh, you can do whatever you want uh, on it. If you want to post and do something, it's fine. That's uh, actually it worked quite good on this. So my takeaway here, and I actually just tweeted it. So freedom attract subject matter experts. Yes. And so of course, that... yes. And uh, <clears throat> it's not only freedom because uh, um, if you have someone who created something, for example, there are some people in communities where uh, who make some software or some plugins. Hi. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Aniban, uh, for people who are uh, not familiar with him, and he, he will use the Hangout toolbox. This is Aniban Duta, who is uh, yeah, like the lead administrator on BMC communities. Hello, everyone. We, we cannot. We can hardly hear you. Okay, let me try to speak up. Is that better? Oh, Good. Yeah. I'm... Good. Excellent. So, so Laurent, go, go ahead. Continue. Uh, so there were two kind of people. So the developers. Uh, it was very interesting for them because they had uh, some beta testers on the on the website, regular users. So it was like uh, we provided them, I guess, a basis of people who could test beta test their program, and say them like experts, uh, end user experts who could say, oh, this is good. I would like to see that. Stuff like that. It was very interesting for them, and people really loved. End user really loved to have a direct access to the developer, because they felt that uh, wow, it was cool to have that. You know? So Laurent, to go back to the how to attract subject matter expert yeah. topic, how would you summarize that? Like SMEs like to be able to influence R and D. I guess yes. Yes, there was a, uh, actually a discussion on it on the BMC community like uh, yesterday. And um, I guess they like that to influence the editor, and they also they also like mo they are quite um, most of the time they are like masochists in a way. <clears throat> oh, what do you mean? They like they don't like really you know easy questions like uh, how do I uh, I don't know how do I plug off or how do, how do I shut down my iPhone or how do I <clears throat> back up my iPhone or something. They like like art subjects to answer. They want like uh, you know like riddles. I got a problem. I installed this software. I don't know what happened. This software is not working. I don't understand it. are the logs and something. And they like to search. You know, if you want to 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 have great uh, experts come on your community, you have got to give them easy questions and you have got to give them hard questions to solve. Because basically, if they are only newbies, for example, only uh, easy people or newcomers, they won't be interesting because it won't be challenging for them. I love that. Anivan, can you please uh, you know, weigh in on what Laurent just said? Uh, on SMEs interacting? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Uh, Laurent is much more active on, on the uh, expertise, helping out users every day space, so he has. But but I guess that's that's right. I mean, you have to give them something of, of their level to keep them engaged. Uh, 
Sounds cool. Sounds cool. So, uh, I, I guess to go back on the freedom topic, it's a question here. For you, Laurent, for yourself, for how you influence other subject matter experts, is that important to have executive management requesting you to engage or at least allowing you to engage? I guess. I, just... um, I mean, on which side? On my company or the editor itself? Uh, good question. Let's say the company of the SME. Oh, I don't care. Okay, so freedom, and, and that's what I meant by my initial tweet. Hmm. Freedom is you know, what motivates a, a lot, you know, really often. Yeah, basically, uh, for example, I'll take a, a little uh, real story here. Uh, when I was attending the Vrog last year, I, I set up actually uh, Facebook and Twitter and Flickr and uh, a lot of social accounts. Yeah, uh, because it was to cover the rug. Yeah, and uh, well, I came to Capgemini and say, okay, here is a bundle. Uh, you said it was okay. It will be very cool, like videos and photos and uh, uh, live tweets, and uh, after each day, a summary of what happened of the breakouts and stuff like that. And uh, someone of the security of Capgemini came and came and say, ah, no. I say what? Why? They said, well, it's dangerous. Why? Because people will know where you are. Oh, man, it's a U.S. It's not like Mali or something. I mean, <laughs> that's a danger. He said, no, you can't. Okay, I can't. So I, I didn't do it for Capgemini, but I said, okay, if you don't want, if, if let's say it's not endorsed by Capgemini to have like an official account and yep. Facebook and Twitter, but what if I do it personally? I said, oh, yeah, personally, you can do it. It's not a problem. So it's not if it's not endorsed by your company, well, you do it personally. I mean, when I'm doing that on the BMC community or open sources uh, communities, it's not most of the time they don't know about it. And yeah. I mean, after that, it's uh, like professional uh, thing. You don't have to share what happens with your customer. Uh, you don't uh, need, you don't uh, you you can't like share like code or workflow or specific example if it's to recognize your customer you worked with or what they paid for so after that it's like um, common sense i guess but yes i need to be free if my company told to me okay you can't work at all with any community at all i guess i would find a way uh, take an alias or just quit the company uh, Aniban, based on your years of experience on BMC communities and other platforms, what is you know, your what are your main two takeaways on how to attract subject matter experts? Um, give them um, give. I think to start with an initial overview on how it could help their business on uh, showcasing how to start with maybe other subject matter experts are helping out or something of interest to them. Um, and then involving them in higher, uh, higher uh, capabilities like blogging may maybe for example, and giving them insight into the impact their blog does and giving them access to <clears throat> things like instant reports and stuff that might interest them uh, would help them go more deeper into the community and help them adopt communities more. That's what I've seen. And I, thanks I, to I, you. Uh, I, thanks I, to I, a lot of these things. I, I really buy that about uh, empowering people. Let me share something if I find it actually. If I don't, we'll, we'll live without it. Uh, so somewhere, somewhere gamification. Uh, somewhere, yeah, gamification intro here. Uh, <clears throat> and Laurent, you've been using gamification for, I guess, years. Uh, do, do you use this, uh, you know, SAPs, status, access, power, and stuff kind of terminology? to explain how to 
reward or recognize people? Uh, I guess uh, we did it, but uh, without know knowing the words. I mean, like years back when you did, when we actually at the time, you know, it was a forum is a very uh, up and down uh, life uh, because uh, when the, we were very uh, waiting for the editor, for example, to release a new product, and uh, we couldn't handle like uh, news, the same level of news like uh, every day and. Uh, like uh, every day, every week, and stuff. So we could, we had to do like tutorials and stuff. But the, a way we found to 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 attract people was uh, actually the gamification. So we found several ways. We found like um, uh, like some quests, you know, uh, or question on this on a specific subject like every week. And the the thing that worked best actually was a very crazy idea one of our moderator had. It was like, uh, okay, everyone has got an avatar on the forum. Uh, what about each month we change the avatar and we ask people for a theme? For example, like Christmas, uh, Valentine, uh, uh, manga, movie, uh, Star Wars or something. And so we made a, a vote each month. What will be the theme of the next month? And uh, surprisingly, a lot of people were attracted by that because it was like... Uh, it was fun to chat with other people, and it was fun to change frequently what was your avatar or rank or something. So actually, it had to. I mean, a forum is a bit like a shark. To be alive, to be alive, he has to swim. You know, he can't stay uh, still. And that's how we found gamification, but we didn't know the term uh, actually at the time. <clears throat> so we had. It's a bit like uh, on MMORPG, you know, mass online uh, playing games. Uh, you have got to add Graham again masters and to make quests like uh, every week and uh, so people so people feel like it's moving if they feel like it's it's a it stays still without any news without any games or without any uh, activity they will leave it will just die and we saw for com actually very active forums there was a forum with uh, about uh, 30,000 posts in uh, in less than one year and it was a lot in France. Uh, it just died in a, in about three months because the moderator was stopping gamification or news and stuff. It just died. I love that. Yeah. Uh, the forum is like a shark. It's actually uh, you know something that rocks. And actually, my forum died like this. At the time, we we made like one on one hundred thousand posts in about one year. And uh, since I didn't have the time in, uh, to, to create more news or blog posts and stuff, it just, uh, well, only the um, regulars were, are coming now anymore and just exchanges like, uh, oh, I got the key, oh, I got the pictures and stuff like that. But if you stop doing, uh, if you stop moving, it just dies very quickly. I, I love that. And uh, there is something I, I, I need to blog post, and first I need to think more about it. Uh, it's keeping people in the flow. This is a gamification concept, again. Uh, keeping people in the flow is to make sure that things are not too easy, not too hard. Like, too easy means boring, too hard means frustrating at the end of the day. So how to adapt user experience so that a subject matter expert is in the flow, but also a newbie is in the flow. And that's like a, a really complex <laughs> uh, th thing to achieve because the expectations are completely different based on, yeah. on the user persona. And actually, that's the same problem not only for the communities, but also, like I said, for the video games because I was working for a video games company at the time. Yeah. And uh, it was the, the problem they had. It was like uh, the, oh, the people were leveling up. Leveling up. On the MMORPG, don't so so uh, mass online uh, games like World of Warcraft and stuff. If you make stuff too hard, newcomers can't level up and see other worlds or other monsters, or they don't have any gears to 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 wear, or they don't have any money, and they will quit because it's too hard. But if you make stuff too easy, it will be very cool because newcomer newcomers will level up very easy. 
but they will reach uh, at the end when they reach like max level of 16, 60 or something. Well, they have got like all the all the cool gear, all the best weapons, all the best armors and stuff, and they did everything. So you have got to find a balance between um, too not too easy, like you said, not too easy, not too hard, and not on not also on the beginning and the end of the process, but also on the all the, all the panel, because if it's very easy at the beginning, then a bit harder than easy. It's very uh, the balance is very hard to find, for example, in the game. And also in the community, I guess in a community for newcomers, uh, people who have the kind of power are moderators because they will help. They will help the newcomers and uh, guide them where they could post and uh, what they should have to look. And uh, so, I guess moderators and uh, tutorials and documents. And definitely, you walk the talk, Laurent. Uh, like in the past 24 hours, you published a document explaining to users on BMC communities where they should post things. Because right now, a lot of users do not post their Atrium CMDB question in Atrium CMDB community, not even in the BMC Atrium family community, but somewhere that is public on BMC communities, which is like, OK, uh, uh, far too broad. Yeah. So uh, uh, let, let me try and see if I can find your document in a couple of seconds, just to illustrate that you walk the talk and thanks a lot for this. So let me share screen. This one, so Laurent, your activities. And you know what? Your thought, okay, where to post it? Thought Far too much active. <laughs> it's it's hard to find all the things you've done. So uh, so yeah. Cool. Yesterday you explained you know where to post. People need to look somewhere in BMC Tum, then Atrium CMDB and post there and see in a couple of hours it was already liked by many people. So thanks a lot for that. Oh, by the way, j just to jump back on another thing that may be good for SMEs. Here, Jason, then Laurent, then me, then yeah, uh, other people. Uh, I mean, uh, again, interacted. Uh, mobility was key for me. How was it for you? Because I have, I've been using mobile to interact here. Uh, mobile is very important because uh, actually. Back in the day, like uh, I will take again the example of Palm Spirit. At the time, nothing was done for mobile. Mobile were Palm OS devices with very like uh, very low resolution screen, uh, like maybe like the first iPhone, for example. And nothing was done for the mobility. There were no mobility products and stuff. So we spent like two months working on a mobile version of our website. Yeah, and we had to code like everything by hand. So the forum uh, theme was uh, was mobile, and as soon as we released that, we saw that a lot of people were liking it because they were at the time there were no like 3G card in the in the Palm OS, but they yeah. were using Bluetooth connection to share the, for example, the computer connection with. I remember Palm that. OS. Yeah, yeah, and uh, a lot of people were using that, and actually it had a lot of success. Of success. Because when people receive notification of a, an answer or to the thread or a new stuff, they wanted to know uh, what happened. But it was very difficult to display on a very little screen a complete uh, community. There were much too well, too much information, too much pictures, and uh, well, at the time the bandwidth was very expensive. Yeah. So we had to create a mobile interface, very light, very fast. And it worked quite good. Actually, the BNC community mobility version is quite good. So yes, I'm using it actually on the iPhone when I receive a notification, uh, like uh, you or Jason liked a topic or something. I can go immediately to the mobile version, and it's very fast. Uh, and I can the, the best part of it is, is I can answer very fast. Uh, before, when I was uh, using the web interface on the iPhone, for example, it was taking a lot of time to download the pictures. I mean, now it's it's okay because uh, there is unlimited bandwidth basically on the iPhone. 
so it's okay. But yeah. it was taking a lot of time to be displayed, and when you saved the your answer, it it took it, it was taken like uh, it took like uh, thirty seconds to save. Yeah. It was very slow. So right now it's very easy and it's very fast. So yes, it's definitely very, something we waited for a lot of time. Oh yeah, me too. Laurent, you've been showing to me, uh, before this call, you've been sharing to me the, uh, what the user interface looks like on, on, you know, on your Mac displaying with Air Server, displaying both iPhone and an iPad. Mm. Could, could you, you know, the, Pop it up again and then uh, talk about what you know what it enables uh, for an sure. SME. Again, let's yeah you know, stick to the topic. What it enables and and then the limitations, you know, things we still need to to work on. Uh, so okay, me and then what, while you set that up, let me know when you're ready. Uh, so I've definitely uh, with many others have been using mobility these past uh, weeks. We launched it two weeks ago, officially. Uh, <coughs> the limitation I have right now, but it's just, just me, the limitation I have right now <coughs> is that <coughs> I cannot at mention a blog post or at mention uh, 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 a community. Right now, I, I using, I'm using the Android app or the old iPad app and I can only add mention people, which is good, but not enough for me. So, can you please show it to us? Sure, I don't know if you see my screen right now. You bet. Yeah. Okay, so on the left part, uh, you've got the iPhone version, and on the right part, you've got the iPad versions of the, uh, of the, com of the community, uh, Jive application, actually. So the iPad version is still in beta on Jive, but available on the App Store. <clears throat> and it's true that it's, mix it's missing actually a couple of things uh, yet, but it's, it's usable actually. So, mm, so for example, let's say I receive a notification. I usually go to the inbox and could I can see... Uh, actually, yeah. before you go further, Laurent, question for you. Mm. The iPhone app that I see on the left is not the iPhone app that I use. I believe. The iPhone app that I use is, I actually use it on my pad because I don't have an iPhone and I can't use the latest and greatest iPad version because I'm still on iOS 5 yep. and I need iOS 6. The one you demo is maybe a bit outdated here, uh, but the, the iPad one, I'm really interested by it and I want to upgrade <laughs> as soon as possible. I believe you can add mention, you know, content, a blog, or add mention even a community or a group. Is that true? Uh, let's check. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can mention here. I can mention uh, BMC Show Social actually. That's cool. That's a cool demo. Please speak, Laurent. Please speak so that your screen appears. Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so you can see here. I can uh, add. I don't have the at uh, on iPhone. There was a at uh, button. <clears throat> Actually, here yeah, you just have to type the hat, and let's say I will do uh, IRS system, IRS system. Oops. <laughs> so it's a AR system, action request system. Okay. Yeah. So here, so it let's find the content one. for your system. Yeah. But you can find some um, here as such BMC social and give me some uh, documents, but also some uh, groups and some uh, here is a community actually. So I can add, uh, let's say you. Yep. 
So I can add people, uh, communities, groups. What, do, what, do, what did you want to test? Uh, a blog. Let's say uh, the April uh, you know, user of the month oh. blog post that was posted two days ago. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine. It found it actually. April users of the month. Cool. So that's what we all experience on the web. And now you experience it on iPad because you use the uh, latest and greatest iPad version that requires iOS 6. Cool. Yeah, and I don't understand why I've got the old version of uh, Jive actually. And you know what? I, I don't know either. You remember when you made the demo that we broadcasted uh, also on Hang Hangout? Uh, you had the streams appearing on the left of the. Yeah. And, and now you don't have it anymore. And me neither. Actually, me neither. I looked, I looked at my, uh, you know, the iPhone version that is displayed here. I don't know. I don't know. So, mm -hmm. Anirban, by the way, is that something that you or your colleagues uh, can try and understand, you know, what is required for us to enjoy the I, uh, iPhone version or iPod Touch yeah. version, by the way, with the streams. That, that would be cool, because streams are cool. Yeah. I, actually, uh, if ever Jason Miller looks at this video, I've understood yesterday night how the following capability uh, works on the iPad, oops, on the uh, iOS version here. The followed tab, oops, here that we see, the followed tab, actually displayed the uh, activity happening in the, what is it called? In the connections, connection stream. So it's, yeah, connection stream. So anyway, let, let's not, you know, deep dive on BMC communities, but the takeaway here is that by providing a powerful mobile access, it enables you, Laurent, and obviously, as we see, uh, many subject matter experts to interact more. Yes, yes, and we can see that it's working because basically, um, uh, you can see uh, a lot of people from IRS list uh, that are coming now to the BMC community. So it seems it wor it's working actually. Jason is much more active right now on the BMC community. Uh, we can see that LG is coming uh, back oh. also. A a LG has been huge these past months, helping out on AI system. Mm. But yeah, definitely, and, and for me too, for all of us, mobility just helps engagement. Cool, thanks, thanks a lot, Laurent, for this demo, because obviously I cannot you know, do it yet. <laughs> Aniban, you you have an iPad Mini. Yes. Does the new iPad app work on the iPad Mini? I'm yet to try it, Matt. To be honest. Okay. Uh, I'll, yeah, I I expect it to. Uh, we'll we'll do another hangout for that maybe. I guess. Yeah. But the Android version works pretty cool on on my mobile, and I can easily be. Updated on on the activity which which has happened, which should concern me. It's all about setting up the streams to start with, and then it's it's very convenient. I don't know okay. if you can see that. Yeah. Sounds good. So we talked about many things, and I, I will uh, list that. Yeah, I, I will see them again in the tweets. So we talked about uh, the freedom. We talked about. Uh, complex questions to struggle with, to, to answer, good ways to attract SMEs. We talked about powerful capabilities with mobile. What else? What, what else is important for, and I guess we may differentiate what is, what is important for an SME to join and what is important for an SME to stay involved in the communities. It may be another perspective. Well, I guess to stay, yes, to 
like I said, he has to have riddles to to solve. Yeah. Uh, he has it's a, it's a link to activity basically. If there are no activities, yeah. he will find something else to go, or he will get bored, and uh, that's the main point, I guess. And but, I guess so on, on boarding, on boarding. So how can we make sure that the best subject matter experts join? Mm -hmm. How to attract them? Not to how to keep them, but how to attract them. Oh, like I said, it's more like uh, the freedom, and I guess uh, the the fear that most people have when, the, for example, on the BMC community, yeah, the most people the the, the, the they will fear that uh, they feel like it's uh, a BMC endorsed thing or something, <clears throat> or like a BMC community. Okay. And they will fear that they can cannot talk about certain subjects, for example, or hacking the system, or speaking about other services like ServiceNow or something like that. I know that some editors are very sensitive to those of those kind of uh, of topics, and uh, that's why perhaps they feel like. Um, something that is not endorsed officially by BMC or by any editors, yeah. better because they feel like they will have more freedom. Actually, on the BMC community, I didn't, uh, I didn't see really censorship or subjects that are forbidden to talk about. Apple, for example, is very sensitive on the... <laughs> community. Yeah. It's very easy to see your, your question disappear in the, in the wild or something. I, I didn't see that on the BMC community. I saw some posts on ServiceNow and stuff. Uh, or modifying uh, like uh, BMC code and something, and it was very and it's very open. I guess that's the way for me. It's most important for for an expert is to see that he, he has the freedom and he can do whatever he likes on the community. And uh, even if BMC does not endorse what he's doing, because if you modify some piece of code that yeah. are not intended to, so BMC will tell you, oh. Um, you could have a problem when you do upgrades and stuff like that, but if you want to do it, okay, do it. I mean, there are no like rules or private messages from someone with BMC who told, okay, you don't have to do that. It's very bad. Don't do it, or we will sue you or something. You know, it's very important to be to have like a, a certain freedom. For me, it's and, most important. And thanks, thanks a lot for saying that. Uh, you know. We want the talk about freedom on BMC communities. I actually awarded, you know, two days ago, uh, Carl Wilson uh, as one of the user of the month um, for many good reasons. Actually, I, I wanted to award him earlier on because he's been so active, but, you know, I, I had to make choices, tough cho choices, I guess, each time, each month. Uh, and one of the items I point out for, for Carl Wilson is that he thinks out of the box, he, he, he doesn't, uh, you know, stick only to the uh, uh, an official BMC way to do things. He, he just, you know, uses creativity, uses his external engagement and understanding of other technologies to to interact. And I I like that a lot. We don't want censorship. We we actually want this kind of brainstorming thing from many backgrounds. So, thanks for that. And by the way, this discussion may happen in public or may happen in private or even you know, secret uh, groups. But you know, public is allowed too. The, uh, Anibana, your feedback will be important, interesting here, but the only things we delete are spams, you know, real spams, like uh, driving traffic to a uh, and politically correct stuff, yeah, or uh, really, really, really bad things, right? Yeah, can't remember. I mean, we've had a few people who's not been nice, but apart from spam, can't remember. We deleted. Posts. Yeah, there is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Unless they are sensitive data spoken. So we've oh yeah. Deleted posts. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Sensitive you know, when something highly sensitive is posted in a public area and should be posted in a BMC Plus Partners area or in a private beta program, for example, then we move it to the you know, private area. 
but you know, definitely not sensor. Yeah, but that's moderate our life. I mean, yeah. I remember of of um, of a topic someone created about um, a security uh, problem actually on the media on the RS media, and uh, it gave like the proof of concept how to do it, how yeah. to produce it. And <clears throat> of course, for those kind of things, it's totally normal to to put it in a place in a in a hidden or private place. So people like developers or R and D or support can see it, but not the general public. That's normal, I guess. Yeah. So that's a that's a usual website life, so it's not really a problem. Excellent. I like that. So what what uh, we have uh, about you know five to ten minutes to go. What what kind of takeaways do we have? Okay, let, let's. Put another perspective. What will make an SME go away? Also, obviously, if we remove the freedom, if we remove the powerful uh, access, if we remove the powerful capabilities. But you know, what else? Actually, I saw some SMEs go away before, but it was like uh, human problems. <clears throat> it was um, fights between SMEs. Oh yeah. You take uh, uh, com when you walk into computer IT or something, people have quite some uh, ego most of the time. It goes with uh, actually when you are, when you have an expert, most of the time he has some kind of ego, and sometimes it's kind of weird in his own way. Yep. And sometimes it just doesn't work between people, two people, because they think differently. Uh, they will fight about uh, open source definitions for like uh, years. Well, you, talk, you, you take Linus Torvalds, I mean, he's great, he's very intelligent, very bright, but when you see some, some of his postman, he's like crude with other people. Right. And that's, um, that's one of the things some people are not compatible with. And for example, I, got, I don't know, some, some, one of the guys won't take his coffee in the morning, will see someone answering his post, and he will say, okay, that was my post. And he will begin to, to reply something. And then the guy say, what the fuck? I answered, man. And he answers. And then it escalates. And uh, one of them say, okay, it's, uh, the, this, place is, this place is too little for one of us. And I go back. And I go away. So most of the time, actually, it's human problems. When I saw that, it's human problems. It's between, between SMEs or between an SME and an end user. He says, okay, man, this, this guy guy is too dumb. So this forum is dumb, I go away. Or between moderators. Sometimes it's a problem with between moderators, yeah. administrators, and SMEs. And I mean, that's, that's how I saw it and, uh, before. And, and we definitely experienced that. Uh, SMEs are uh, you know, great people to have. We love to have SMEs. Uh, but obviously, uh, not the easiest. To keep because they are very active, uh, and and as as you said, uh, some may have some uh, you know an ego <laughs> aspect that that is you know more complex to deal with than the average mass of users. So yeah, but uh, uh, in the past uh, months and years, uh, each time this happened, I actually had a one-to-one -one talk. And a nice talk with uh, this SME saying to him or her, uh, okay, I understand what happened. Uh, what can we do to fix that? So uh, I, to come back on Anya Band's uh, definition on how to keep SMEs, uh, helping their business. So caring about their specific business, what they want and, and like on their engagement. But yeah, yeah. Uh, hard, hard with, harder with the SMEs. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Well, any closing comment, uh, Aniban, on your side? Any closing comment on uh, keeping SMEs or attracting SMEs? I think SMEs attract other SMEs most. So, yeah. as uh, 
uh, community admin and mod managers, we should make it an exciting platform and we should make it an innovative platform and help their business and uh, as we spread the word around and it's, it's the case of relatability. It's other than us speaking for the platform, it's best if the power users themselves create that environment uh, that helps. That, that's a great uh, you know, takeaway. SMEs attract other SMEs. Love that. Thanks. On, on your side, Laurent? No, not really. I said, uh, well, I gave my experience before, so it's okay. And, I don't and have any. Hmm. Thanks a lot because you've listed experience learned these past years on many platforms and also on BMC communities, including the recent changes with mobility and stuff. Well, thanks to, to both of you. Uh, would you be interested in participating to the next EMEA Community Manager Hangouts that will happen in uh, three to four weeks? And we'll, we'll address other that. topics. Yeah, I'll sure. Most cool, thank you. And by the way, for people who don't know, uh, Laurent uh, obviously engages a lot in the public communities but also as a leading role in some private and secret groups. Yes, uh, very that, secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great stuff that uh, yeah, we'll have more, more spotlight uh, pretty soon, but thanks a lot for all these activities. It's fun. Actually, I guess it, uh, it needs to be fun also. Well, gamification and stuff, it needs to be fun. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Perhaps to conclude on my side, uh, do I still have it? Yeah, let, let me screen share to have it. And actually, is that something I need to answer uh, a discussion on that? Motivation, and to motivate SMEs, it's really important with status, like points, access, like new uh, capabilities, and power. I'm, I'm sorry, access means new areas to interact and power means new capabilities and stuff is what a lot of people talk about oh I want a t-shirt oh I want uh, I don't know an iTunes gift card well yeah we can and we do sometimes but it, it should never never become a habit because it will create motivation for very bad reasons it, so, Laurent, what do you think about that? Um, actually, I, I agree because uh, it must be like um, people should. Uh, it's uh, it's different, I guess. When you see the the best example is what is doing May backend on the beta programs, basically. Uh, she gives away a lot of uh, BMC goodies or T-shirts. Well, well, you saw uh, Jason Miller with a green T-shirt, like uh, uh, so. It's cool. But for beta program, it's a bit different because it's a very short, uh, short time. Most of the time, he has only SMEs working on it. And it's every week, like um, a little goodie, a little well done, guys, or something like that. It's fun. I guess for a more general community, it can be, like you said, it can be dangerous. We, did, we never made that on a regular basis on, your, on all communities because uh, the danger is people posting like crazy for nothing or posting junk, you know, it's very dangerous. But what we did is uh, for special events, like uh, three or four times a year, we made some very, on special occasions, we made some gamification like this with t-shirts, with um, palm, uh, palm stuff like uh, pointers and uh, huh? or covers for the palm and uh, something to, to win. But it was very on specific timing for one or two or three weeks. And it was very specific. We never made something like, okay, when you change rank, you got a t-shirt. When you change something, you, can, you, you win a night and something. It mustn't be a goal to achieve. I mean, else uh, it can just uh, junk your community. And SME yeah. people will just go away because uh, a lot of junk on the community. 
thank you for that. I will use your wording to answer these discussions that uh, happened on BMC Social, I believe, yeah. uh, and point out that, yeah, some stuff can be given, but it should never become a habit and never become an expectation because it's, yeah. it would create the bad reasons to interact. Thank you. Thank you for, for joining today, Aniban and Laurent. And uh, if you happen to be familiar with other community managers in this time zone, I call it EMEA, but it's obviously bigger than, than EMEA here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, please you know, let them know about this uh, kind of event. Okay. We will sure do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.